Singapore Math helped teachers understand their role as a teacher. It helped them improve their content knowledge by looking at the textbooks, they understand the mathematics they teach, they understand the methods they should use to teach. Part 1. Number Bonds We will be learning about number bonds. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to complete number bonds, make different number bonds for numbers up to 10, and make number stories. A number bond shows the relationship between what we call the parts and the whole. For this example, we can say that 2 and 3 make 5. Let us make number bonds for 4. We say that 2 and 2 make 4. But that's not the only number bond we can make. We can also have 1 and 3. We say 1 and 3 make 4. Let's have another example. If there are 8 blocks, what number bonds can we make? There's 1 and 7. 1 and 7 make 8. Can you name other combinations? If you answered any of these pairs, then you're correct. 0 and 8 make 8. 2 and 6 make 8. 3 and 5 make 8. 4 and 4 also make 8. Let's practice what you have learned so far. Can you tell me which number represents the whole and which represents the parts? 6 is the whole and 4 and 2 are the parts. Let's try it again. Can you name the whole and the parts? Did you get it correctly? Now, let's practice our skill in completing the number bond. Can you name the missing part? Right! 4 and 1 make 5. How about for this number bond? What is the missing part? That's right, 8 and 2 make 10. This time, we're missing the whole number. What do you think it is? Correct, 1 and 3 make 4. Now that you know your number bonds, we can try answering these number stories. Angelo has 6 fruits. He has two kinds of fruits, strawberries and mangoes. How many strawberries does he have? Let's count together. One, two, three, four. He has four strawberries. And how many mangoes does he have? Let's count them. One, two. He has two mangoes. So four strawberries and two mangoes make six fruits in all. Let's try another one. Imi has ten pieces of candy. She has two kinds of candies, lollipops and gummy bears. Can you count how many lollipops she has? She has four lollipops. And how many gummy bears does she have? Imi has six gummy bears. So four lollipops and six gummy bears make ten pieces of candy. Great job! Now you know how to complete number bonds, make different number bonds for numbers up to ten, and make number stories. Let's move on to the next lesson.